Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Steve. Here's Howie T Bear. T stands for Teddy. And today you join me off the beaten path. I've decided to head deep inside a pine forest. As you can see, there's not much breathing space around there. But it's not worth coming here for the pines. I've come in here to see if we can get some shafts of light with little openings. So I'm gonna have a wander around here. Oh my god! That's fun, isn't it? Oh my god, I'll be on my hands and knees in a minute. The last time I came out to this particular place was back in the winter when it was really icy. And I haven't been back since. I had uh, problems with my foot, I couldn't really walk very far. That's all healed up now, hooray. And I'm back out and I'm gonna do a bit of hiking, see what we can get tonight. So, see this tree here? Something like that. We're looking for shafts of light coming down, capturing weird looking trees, lots of moss on them. Not quite sure if we've got anything around here, but if I just keep walking around, I'm sure I'm gonna find something. So, oh God. So if I don't trip and break my leg, uh, I'll see you in a minute when I can find my first composition. I'm still looking for my first shot. Bear with me. Come on then. first image of shot come about 100 meters down the track down we're still in the woodland very overcast at the moment don't know if I'm going to get any sunset shots so I'm just going to stick in the woodland it's quite flat the light but I do like it like that because you're not going to get any highlights and all the shadows are exposed when it's really soft like this so I've come down here and we have got some awesome little compositions I think we might be able to get so we've got as you can see behind me or if I swing around that way right with all that white blossom on that tree there and we've got some bluebells and we've got some ferns and we've got a fallen tree so we've got some really good ingredients to uh, try and get an image now I first set up come on Harry this way so I first set up at the top of the hill up here I'll just go back to my camera now uh, still there good ponies haven't nicked it that's good <laughs> right so I'm gonna come up to the top of the hill and I thought I'd take a shot from the very top of the hill which is 30 meters away but I don't think it's gonna work it's just too far away and I, I think I need more of an intimate shot on this this particular composition uh, if I take you back there we come on good boy so I'm just going to put it on the camera now I'm just going to show you what I was going to take a shot of and then we're going to walk down further see if we can get a better one so this is the first image I was going to go for. So we were going to have trees just on the left hand side 
just there. Trees on the right which were white as well, that's catching the light nicely. And then at the very bottom, just down there, we were going to have the fallen log. But I think it's just too far away. That log's too far away to get any anything. Really, it's just all lost. So you're really going to have to come in really, really close in order to get a shot. So I'm going to take a wander down the bottom of the hill now and see if we can get something a little bit better. quite sure how I'm going to shoot this I don't know if I'm going to use this the main subject but if I stand about here this tree with all the blossom on is just basically totally disconnected you've got such a big gap in the middle there which is just not really working so we need to really get that tree in and we need to get the log so it's basically just connecting maybe something like that I'm gonna to have to have a play around with this because it's not the easiest of shots and it's getting a little bit dark now I think we've only got about half an hour left of daylight so I'm just going to have a wander around there must be possibly another shot but without that white tree in let's uh, take a look and see what I can shoot for a sunset got rain so it's just starting to drizzle now um, it's just one of those things unfortunately being a landscape photographer you never know what weather you're gonna get even though the weather tells you one thing always gonna get something else aren't you so I'm just gonna head back a little bit more now back towards the car but I think I've got one more shot um, I'm just at the edge of the forest you can see on that side there we've got the heathland and on that side we've got the forest and in between we've got this wire fence and I think I could probably use that to my advantage. So I'm just going to wander up a bit further, see if we can get a tree or two on this side. And then we're going to use the trees inside there as a bit of a backdrop. Hopefully we've got a little bit of light left. Um, I'd say we're probably 10 minutes before the sun goes down. So we're not going to have much light. But if we can just get a little bit of light cast against a couple of um, tree trunks, then that will bring the picture to life so bear with me i'm just gonna have a wander down now and then i'll set up see you in a minute i oh, believe that believe it or not it stopped raining absolutely beautiful it's so still out here wow it's really really still out here now rain stopped the midges are biting my head, absolutely loving it. Anyway, so as you can see, setting up for my last shot now. Um, I'll swing around and show you. I'd like to get closer, but the light's starting to fade and we've got this mud bath all the way through. Uh, we've got that um, fence that I was talking about that runs across there. And then just on the other side of the fence, we've got the tree that I'll be shooting. Not quite sure if you can see, even see it because the light is really fading. But what you can see is we've got a nice arch of light which is catching all those leaves at the top there. But the main focus is going to be right in the middle there where that tree is sprouting out. It's quite a dark moody image. I really, really like that. Uh, the trunk's absolutely covered in moss. Really dark, dark tree. Got some character going on with it as well. So I'm just going to set it all up now and... Uh, take a take a shot of that right so for the settings we've got one second f5.6 ISO 100 I'm just going to zoom in to where I can get focus or so in manual focus at the moment and I don't want to get anything behind these leaves so we've got to make sure it's in manual focus to oh dear it's getting a bit grainy where the light's starting to fall now but I think that's about it uh, let's take a picture three second time and see what that comes out like 
oh that is a little bit too dark we are going to have to go back in and we are going to have to put 1.6 of a second so i'm gonna have to mess around with this just to get the right balance because obviously when i edit it i do want to have enough light in the image to play around with it having it too dark you're just going to get so many black points it's just not going to be very good image so i'm just going to keep increasing this i think so we just go for the four seconds to be done with it let's have a look at that yeah not bad not bad listening out for the cuckoos you'll get one in a minute don't worry <laughs> oh dear how am I like that right I think oh right should have bought some spray with me it's starting to get eaten alive now but I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video just listening out for cuckoos now oh they'll go mad a minute ago now it's gone all quiet anyway I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please like and subscribe until next time see ya